and welcome to this tutorial on how to make the horns for Tuna Toddy. Let's get right into it! First off, I'm making the pattern out of some paper. I measure the height I want and then roughly draw the horns. But don't worry about this step, I have made a blueprint that you can find on my Facebook page. And there's a link for it in the description. Next, trace the pattern onto EVA foam. You want to make 3 pieces for each horn you're making. And remember to flip the pattern as you make each horn. Once you have drawn all of the pieces, find yourself a box cutter. And remember, it's important that your knife is always sharp. So keep sharpening it as you cut out all of the pieces. Once everything has been cut out, you can glue the pieces together. This way, you can avoid that some of the glue gets too cool and won't stick evenly. With a newly sharpened box knife, you can trim the edges. Use a Dremel to smooth out the edges and get a round shape. And if you don't have a Dremel at hand, just use sandpaper. You will get the same result, it will just take longer. Once you are happy with the shape of the horns, heat seal them with a heat gun. It's not necessary to use wobbler, but I really love the sturdy feeling it gives. Besides, everything looks so smooth afterwards. So if you're using wobbler, just sandwich your foam between two pieces. Then heat and squeeze the edges together. While the wobbler is still warm, use a scissor to cut off the excess. If your wobbler gets cool, just reheat and continue cutting. Indeed a very satisfying process. To get a nice clean result, heat the wobbler and then use something flat like a ruler to smooth everything out. And this is what we have so far. Now you could simply just paint the stripes onto the horns, but I want to make them a little bit extra and mark them into the wobbler. So I do this by tracing the stripes onto the wobbler with a marker. Then simply reheating the wobbler and using a ruler and scissor to push into the wobbler. And make sure you make the lines straight and even. For priming you can use whatever you prefer, mud podge, plastic dip, but I like to use wood glue. And for how many layers you should give it, a good rule of thumb is 4 to 6 layers. This next step is not necessary if you want to sew your horns into your wig, but if you want to be able to detach them, cut out two squares of EVA foam. Then make a hole in them the same size as your magnets. Secure the magnets with hot glue. Then make another hole for the magnets into your horns. And again attach the magnets with hot glue. Take your square EVA foam piece and place it where you want the horns to sit. Then turn your wig inside out and secure the EVA foam with hot glue. And of course, make sure that the right magnets are working with the right horns. For the painting, I'm being a little bit extra here and using an airbrush, but you can totally just paint this by hand. I'm simply just mixing the colors with some airbrush fitter before applying it to the pistol. And then I just give it a couple of layers until I'm happy with the color. For the stripes, I'm using some darker tones. And again, simply just mixing the right colors with some airbrush thinner. And then, simply painting the stripes on with the airbrush. To make the stripes stand out more, I'm using some brown paint and a brush. I like that the horns have a more natural look, so I'm going in with a piece of paper towel to wipe off some of the paint. Once you're done, complete with a clear layer of spray paint. And then the horns are all done. Thank you for watching. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you and perhaps check out some of my other videos.